how I came to learn about Ginger and the lead singer Tatiana is through a Discord server for females. And it was in this Discord server I asked everybody, uh, what are some really great songs to rage out to? And they brought to my attention this great band, Ginger. And Ginger is pretty sophisticated anger, in my opinion. And I became obsessed. The past few weeks, I listened to hours of Ginger. Um, for those of you that are not familiar with the band, it is metal. And I'm not a metalhead. But I love music. And I love artists experimenting with different types of music. So I wanted to know her design, the lead singer. And I put it in my little software system and throughout all day on her birthday, March 15th, 1987, she is a splenic projector. And that's really exciting because at least I know the type all day. It doesn't change. Uh, she has her ego defined. And so what I want to get into in this video uh, is I'm going to pull up her chart. I want to play a little bit of her music, especially one song, I Speak Astronomy. Very fitting. And we'll get into the details of where I'm seeing this design play out. She may be aware of human design, may not be, but I'm pretty sympathetic to Richard Rudd's approach in that strategy and authority can be a byproduct of living authentically, challenging the parts of yourself that you think live in the shadow and doing the hard work to really show up in life as a differentiated being. If you do that, the strategy and authority will just follow. So let's see how this goes. And hopefully this is one of the first of many videos. Um, so yeah, let's get to it. Magic inside of us Sound signals amplified Supernova my guy Okay, so let's dive in. I wanted to go over um I speak astronomy because I thought it would be a fun way to tie in human design. So the lyrics a handful of golden dust is what determines me. Magic inside of us speaks astronomy. Sent signals amplified through tidal debris. Supernova, my guide, release your energy. This space foam is so delicious. Dark matter is so divine. Tell me, why are you so suspicious when you see black holes in my eyes? in my eyes so just beautiful beautiful lyrics for this band and i wanted to say you know i realized the whole band is not just tatiana she's the front woman and every member of this band is is phenomenal and just want to put that out there that you know maybe i'll get to the rest of the band members and their designs and everything so <clears throat> so the nature of the projector is to help guide us all in the energy uh, that we have. Well, I shouldn't say we. It's the, uh, the sacral beings, the generators, the builders of society. The projectors are, are here to, to help guide that. And... They're, they're slowly becoming the top dogs here in the top of the hierarchy, not by control or anything like that, but just providing by an example how things can go if we're all playing our part. Eh, I can get into the nature of projectors. Yeah, but hopefully you all know kind of what a projector is if you're watching this video. Uh, and one thing I wanted to note, so... I went through the different times for her birth chart, and I think 
the 3.5 profile is kind of most fitting for her. There was also a 2.4 and actually a 2.5. Um, but the the 3.5, like the, the martyr heretic, with the heretic being unconscious and the 3 going out there doing the trial error, I think is really fitting for Tatiana. So... It just seems like she knows about human design with this song. Um, I can see. I can see it. It's so interesting to me. Um, I'm not even quite sure where I want to go with this. It's an experiment. But maybe we can start with her channels. So this 4426, the the channel of surrender, um, it's totally conscious for her with a little bit of an unconscious element and this i can see her just letting that ego guide the splenic awareness that ancient primal awareness for her career and her life and the way that she's made a living for herself it's such a beautiful thing that she can use that instinctive like spidey sense of where she is at the right time and the right place with the right people and to use it fueled by her willpower in a way that is just so unique and so demonstrative of her worth. Uh, like I've seen the live videos of her and she just knows what she's all about. I was like, this girl has got to have a defined ego. And she has pretty packed uh, defined ego here. Um, so the channel of initiation that 2551, half of it is unconscious. The coming, the only unconscious element that she has from her ego is that 51st gate uh, going towards the center of the self uh, with her true identity. So that 51 is her north node um, and as the opportunist. So the direction that she's headed towards the, the bloodline of who she is, of that 25, the love of the universe. It's not just a, a love of the, the body of humanity even. It's something much more from a, a universalist lens that can kind of seem detached from things, but it's all encompassing every from everything from like the single cell organism to other humans, to the plants, to everything and to the cosmos that she's singing so beautifully about. So the channel of surrender, the channel of initiation um, is the only definition that she has as the projector probing into our universalized way of handling a lot of the themes that she tackles, like war, everything like that. So those are the two channels. I also wanted to bring up this 55.1 in her emotional center. So the gate of the spirit in the first line as her Mercury, something that she's communicating. So she's communicating at this very new uh, level with her music that has never, I've never heard this kind of music before, but this 55 calling out to the spirit, um, in the way that she, she sings and, and pulls it out. So she has a very open root, a very open sacral center, uh, with really that 58, the gate of joy, the only thing coming out of her, root in that direction of logic. So the way I see that is there can be joy in her music as dark and heavy and gritty as it can be. There's it, there's one song, um, Judgment and Punishment, where someone commented on YouTube, like, this song makes me want to go uh, break into someone's house and water their flowers. That is such a great comment for for Tatiana and Ginger and really speaks to this joy like there's an aggressiveness uh that's pointing towards this positivity 
in a way and this um down with the system to promote the good in the world and the good of humanity and the good that she sees in the universe so this chart just really excites me maybe i should get back to the lyrics uh and then i can further support like why i think she might know about human design or maybe that human design is just like this thing that as a collective we're all just starting to really unconsciously think about i don't know like the universal truths of the world so let this binary be blessed by holy x-ray singularities are nest peace forming clay if there is lord out there he is just a guest sitting in his spaceship observing the parade wow so she's talking about binaries she's talking about holy x-rays i mean when I introduce people to human design for the first time, I say that you can kind of think about it as an x-ray of your aura and a blueprint that is you that is made from a binary personality, crystal consciousness, and the design crystal consciousness. So this song talking about astronomy talking about all these things with the binary it's just it blew it blows my mind it just blows my mind uh let's see let's get back to her chart so tatiana has the well in her south node this 48.3 and the 21.3 in her north node and this might be why i am so in tune with what she's doing that is my sun earth on my design side the 23 21.3 and the 48.3 so she's literally all up in my notes and i love it um with that i mean i don't really identify with the keynotes for that particular line the 21.3 it's powerlessness and Again, it's where I think of Richard Rudd and his way of approaching things. The 21, first of all, is control as a traditional human design keynote. But with Richard Rudd and even um, Karen Curry Parker, they have a gift and a city for this particular gate that is all about valor and kind of the warrior energy. It's not about control 100 percent of the time um so that being her notes like that having powerlessness in a keynote of control it was just so mind bendy for me and i still don't really know how to think about that but maybe you can give me some insights uh in the comments about how your relationship with that that gate is, I'd love to know, uh, because I like thinking about it and other gates in a new way that kind of includes traditional human design, but also branches off of it too, and includes a lot of the, the shadow aspects. So let's get back to the song. Come and join me in my rotation. We won't be held by no bars. Our reunion was tagged by the celestial, the very moment stars got us baptized. Stars. Wave your hand from parallel universe, hidden in a folded palm. After 28 light years, my research must be ended somehow. 28 light years. That's a very curious number because Saturn returns happen during, um, you know, uh, every 28 to 31 years. So I was curious about her Saturn return and apparently it happened back in 2016 in December and she has totally unconscious. If you include the unconscious side of Saturn returns, um, the perfected form, 
Um, she also has the channel of transformation that happened around the 28 year mark. Uh, she, she had the channel of abstraction, um, as an educational channel. So what that means is that purely by the transits, that's what was created. So the Saturn and return and her together, um, there was also acceptance, judgment, mating, um, very, very interesting lyric there with the 28 light year, uh, with her research, um, it must be ended somehow. You know, and I don't want to like totally overanalyze this song. Uh, I just wanted to bring up kind of where I see human design uh, or just this idea that we have this x-ray vision of who we are and how does that expand to what we see in the cosmos? How do we study astronomy and what does it say about ourselves and through Tatiana's design, what does it say about the universe and some of the big themes that she's talking about here. Um, our reunion was tagged, the celestial, the very moment stars got us baptized. I mean, human design is claimed to not be a religion by a lot of people, but, and yet there is a time of baptism almost in the way people approach their experiment and when it started it's like a seven-year baptism where we're constantly getting overflowed and and renewed and validated throughout the whole cell rejuvenation process which scientifically it does not take seven years um you know, so if it's a mystical thing, this is kind of a side note. It does not take seven years, but if you want to think that, that's okay, I guess. Maybe I can do a video on that. I'm, I'm feeling pretty energized about these videos, and this is just a snippet of kind of what I might be sampling with this music. It's just charging me and inspiring me. And I know I said we might do a couple songs, but really this video is already getting kind of long and I might have to go a little bit more in depth with her chart and incorporate maybe another song of hers. Um, right off the bat, I mean, Vortex would be a really cool song. Uh, I'll just think about it. And I mean, this is my first video and, you know, I see a diaper in the background. Uh, sorry about that. Don't look over there. Uh, and my kitty is crawling on me. So, um, if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. And I, as I get more in the hang of doing this, more in the hanging in, uh, When I'm less awkward on here, I will feel much, um, you know what? I don't even care. Like this is me and this is where I'm at right now and I can make a fool of myself and it's just a signifier of how crazy you guys are because I'm just the reflector, right? Um, so I'll just use that as an excuse. Um, but anyway, yes, thank you so much for watching this video and your support means a lot to me right now. And I can't wait to start putting more time and energy doing these videos, uh, because I think it's really cool to give you guys something different, uh, which is my perspective and tying it in with people that I think are worthy of your attention right now because this chick is freaking awesome. Okay. I will see you next time. I think I'll post a series of these videos like um, Reflector, Lady Reflectress, Highlights, um, whoever, and also some of my poetry and maybe some other neat things. So until next time, I wish you well. Bye.